Hello from an Airbnb in Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm on a road trip and making my way back to Portland. I'm going to follow up on the video that I made previous to this one because there was something weird about how the V-Stack was working. I've done some digging around and I'm thankful to Owen Price for helping uh, give some insight, but then I also had to do some more digging and confirm that the VStack was working the way that it did work. Here's this data. Now I'm gonna expand this out. We've got these names, the days, and these start dates. So here's what I'm gonna do. Equals, sequence, and double click. Rows I don't want. Columns, I want five columns right here because I've got five days comma start that's the start date comma step one enter so we've got the five days all right I'm gonna deal with these numbers later all right but right now I'm gonna do this okay so Alonzo's two days are showing Martinez seven are showing in row four got that now here is something to show you about VStack equals VStack double click I want array one now here is what I did I highlighted the stack and then went in F2 pound sign and then F8 pound sign enter and notice we don't have everything we'll scroll up look this column was clipped off okay now here's one thing that I learned I'm gonna delete this equals and then I'm gonna highlight and then pound sign pound sign enter right same result we did not need vstack this will work for what I was trying to do now watch this I'm gonna sort this column sort it ascending all right so now we do have the full data set if I sort it the other way everything is there but if I go back and sort this way, all right, so I'm going to sort this date column ascending. Now, down here, it's clipped off. Now, it's easier to see because without the VStack in the way, we are telling the formula to pull F2 through F8. Intuition suggests that the hash symbol the pound sign that it would consider everything in the middle with a pound sign but it does not this is where the expand function will help us and by the way do you know what this is i want to show you the whole thing okay Check it out. I will tell you what this is at the end of the video. We see that if I'm able to sort the data and get the largest number on the top or the bottom, I will get everything all in one array. But what if I can't sort it like this? If I have to keep this data sorted by the date ascending, how do I get everything? Here we go. Go back up here. Go to the beginning. Expand. Open parentheses. Go all the way to the end. That's my array. Comma. Rows, I don't want rows. Comma, I want columns. How do I do this? Max. Open parentheses. Now I want this column, the days, 
close parentheses, comma, pad width. Pad width is asking us for any empty cells, what do you want me to put there? So I'm going to put double quote, double quote, so that it stays empty. Close parentheses and enter. And then I'm going to go back here and drag this down. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to select here. We've got the entire set of columns all highlighted. We've got all seven here. We've got all seven cells selected here, even though there are only two dates. We've got what we needed right here. And if I want to go down here and go equals Okay. And then do the pound sign and go to the pound sign. Now enter. Good. So now what if I did 12 right here? Enter. All right. We've got all 12. All in a single array, nothing clipped off, everything adjusted. All right, so let's put this at six, okay, and then make this an eight, okay. Now, to fix these numbers, using the text function, and then we can get out of here. Go back, text, open parentheses, Go to the end. That's our value. And then comma, format the text, double quote, DD, hyphen, MMM, hyphen, YY, double quote, close parentheses, and enter. Great. Drag that down. Good. We have all of the dates they're all completed here and then over here they are all in a single array for whatever we need thanks to owen price for some enlightenment and pointing me in the right direction and now you're pointed in the right direction and now what is this it's a kaleidoscope I drove two hours to Jerome, Arizona to buy this. See, that's where you look at. And then you watch all the beautiful colors slide down. It's beautiful.